All right, YouTubes. Uh, yeah, YouTubes. <laughs> On to episode 26. Well, where we left off, we came into this little cave. And as it turns out, this cave has the red ring in it. Okay, it's set up kind of like a cave. So, I mean, if you got any questions about that. All right, now up ahead is a little bit of a maze. I don't know why I did it this way. Maybe I was thinking something along the lines of, you know, like Zelda... Super Super NES Zelda or something, but I made it dark too, so and I went the wrong way. <laughs> Been a little bit since I played it. All right, go down onto this side. Go ahead and light up the room again. Come back over here. Okay, good thing this don't use magic, otherwise you know I'd be forcing you to do this and it wouldn't be much fun. Okay, around here, and then over here on the far side. Okay, in here. All right, now this room, you can go ahead and blow the whistle now. Okay, go down here. Now, this room needs some navigation. Look over there in the lower right-hand corner. You're going to have to... Uh, you have to zip over there with the hook shot. Remember to use the up and B move. Okay, try to navigate it properly or you're going to have to start over. Because uh, I must have been kind of lazy when I tried to design this. I don't know why, but you can go into the wrong places and it'll mess you up. Okay, now we got to fight. Because we can't advance. So let's use the uh, hammer. Get stuck in a corner or something. All right. All right, this guy's stuck. But you can see right there in the middle that tells you blow the whistle in this room because you can't get there. Okay. Change over. Now this particular dungeon here has something that I. Uh, thought about and it had a little bit of inspiration from certain MMO game uh, Asheron's Call back when I was playing it at the time of a concept that they use called respawning enemies now if you play something like City of Heroes you know you have instance dungeons uh, well instance missions okay no one can go in unless you invite them they can't just jump in and start beating your bad guys up for you Unless you invite them to. Well, this particular game, okay, Zelda's always been known, you know, you clear the room, you're good. Alright, there's also something like surprise spawns. Okay, now first off, we need to blow the whistle. And that makes these blocks appear. This was before I thought about using those, uh... Those nifty raising blocks, which you'll see, you'll see I use those later. But you have to blow the whistle and the hook shot posts appear. Okay, teleport. And uh, we'll take these guys out. And we'll start lighting some fires. The only certain, yep, certain order. Seems to be that same order. I don't know what I was planning for there, but. Notice it always seems to be that lower right hand corner, then this upper left, upper right, lower left. Seems to work. Alright, now here it is. You'd think this room was kind of empty here. But you walk in, and you are ambushed. I'm playing on a little smaller window because I'm trying to prevent a crash that could potentially happen in a way further on so I need to get used to the uh, to the smaller window all right now this is a very dangerous Patra whoops go back this Patra like I was saying very dangerous because he now attacks even though he's got two rows of uh, kids there but he's not as dangerous as some of these other Patras I thought that he would be one of the other ones but I must have uh, been feeling a little uh, less sadistic when I put this guy in. OK. 
Okay. Uh oh. I'm getting hurt. <laughs> I think he has managed to kill me. But, oh, let's go ahead and drink some medicine. <laughs> One more hit, but see, he would have gotten me. Now, you'll see this, uh, this is a locked chest. If you hadn't gotten that key, well, you wouldn't be getting this. So let's slash it open. You now have the red ring. And you have it much earlier than you would in the other Zelda game. I mean, it just seemed to be a technicality in the other game. It, it was nice to have, but this game, it's a bit of a, a requirement. And this isn't the best armor. So, let's uh, zip on over and find our way to level 8 now. Okay, now you remember that bit of water right here that we couldn't get to. Well... I'm going to go ahead and pause the video or you know pause the recording look at that did it again pause the recording and get us there okay you can look at the map and it, it takes a little while to navigate so I'll be right back I'm gonna go ahead and get some medicine too while I'm at it all right that was to save some time okay don't worry about these guys they're you know they unless you really want to kill them Okay, now we are further along on our little journey, We're headed for level 8. Now, you've been watching this for a while, um, watching every step of the way. It's been raining this whole time, right? Well, it's been raining this whole time, well, um, wouldn't some parts kind of be, you know, like squishy and flooded and all that? Now, yeah, use your hammer on those posts. That's, uh, that, you know, you see a post, smack it with a hammer. Yep, burn here. Look what you found. Another heart container piece. Oh, sorry about that. I just bumped the, uh, bumped the mic. It probably showed up. Okay, there's a shop. Let's see if he's got anything for sale that we could use. Probably not, but he does have something to say. Hmm? Oh, hello there. I was a bit distracted. The path ahead flooded and my shop's underwater up to the roof. If you are dumb enough to swim, you might can find an item nearby. In the meantime, I'll be here. <laughs> yeah, of course he'll be here. He ain't going nowhere. And, as usual, he didn't really have anything useful. He didn't have bombs in case you needed it, but otherwise, not too worried about that. Alright, well... Look, we seem to have hit some water here. Well, there's a dock at least. Um, let's take that. Okay, now this is a bit of a maze. If you go to the left, you know, you're going to come out, you know, on this island, but at least you can get off of it. And notice that there's a heart container piece there. You can't get that yet. It's nice to know it's there, but, you know, you can't get to it yet. Okay, so at this rock, push to the right, and he'll go around the rock. Now, uh, you got to fight. Otherwise, you know, you could run away, but it ain't going to do you any good. All right, yep, make sure you get the P-hats, too. Yep, I missed him. Okay, now, see over here on the right? You can't get that either. However, look at where it comes out at. See, if you go across that water, you'll end up in that cave. So, that's good to know. But you still can't do anything with that cave so we're not gonna mess with that until we get a certain item I will mention it okay let's see we're about nine and a half minutes I hope this guy speeds up jeez ah oh, there we go well speeds up I wanted him to stop okay so we take the raft thing that appears push over to the left and we end up with a registration thing um hmm no? What the? You can't go in there? Wonder why. Let's ask the old man. Aren't you a lucky duck? <laughs> duck. He's got a sense of humor. Yeah, only ducks like this weather. This is usually a tall mountain with a long and complicated cave system. But because of the flood, you j just have to be able to sail to my dock outside. Ah, well, here's the next form. Oh, and that complicated cave system is flooded. Can't go in there. 
Yeah, it would have been a long dungeon, kind of like seven, even longer, you know, but oh well. All right, push over to the right, and you'll go around the building. Okay, push up, and you'll keep going. Uh, you don't want to go onto that thing there. Okay, push over to the right, and up. Now, we, do you recognize this place? I hope you do, because this is where we came out when we went through those catacombs in level 7. So, there is a tile here. Blow your whistle. And we gotta stop this video. This is level 8. We'll come back to it. See ya.